what gets me out of bed every day is really trying to figure out how Canada can be a better country. Clearly one of the biggest topics right now around the world is how do we solve the climate crisis or the climate emergency. Four of my favorite subjects to talk about are climate and energy, sustainable finance, plastics and human health, and social entrepreneurship. Why do we have campaigns on climate change, campaigns on toxic pollution, campaigns on smog, on acid rain? Why don't we just go after the source, which is coal, and try to shut down all the coal plants? I always found in the conversations I was having with people is, if I was in a room full of environmentalists, I was always trying to give the other side of the story. And then often, I would be kind of translating between what environmental organizations were saying and what business was saying. And then ultimately, I just set up my own company, and that's really what the company did, was try to get people in rooms together solving big environmental problems. If we're gonna solve these big, big problems like climate change, public infrastructure, how do we electrify the economy, we're gonna to need to shift billions and billions of dollars from the old economy into the new economy. And I've been working on this for the last several years, and we're at the point now where we're really starting to understand what are those financial mechanisms and those financial tools, and how do we actually get, whether it's banks or pension plans or insurance companies, participating in this bigger conversation about climate and transitioning our economy. We've seen a ton of information lately on plastics around the world. Plastics in oceans, mountains of plastic. And when I was first writing Slow Death by Rubber Duck, there's been more plastic produced in those 10 years than in all of history before that book. We have a serious problem in this world around the production of plastic, the disposal of plastic. I never used to think of myself as a social entrepreneur and then Someone pointed out that I've created over a half dozen organizations to help solve big problems in sustainability. Phasing out of coal power plants in Ontario is, to this day, the single biggest climate action in North America. That's really one of my, uh, one of my proudest accomplishments. When I'm in front of an audience speaking to people, I think what's most important is to understand where people are at right now in their lives. What are they thinking about in their business and what concerns them most, maybe with their kids or their families. I feel like I'm in the influence business. And at the end of the day for me, it's always really important to, to have the facts and the evidence and the science behind the story. And then hopefully I can teach someone a little bit about why the world is looking the way it is and maybe how they can be doing something in their own world that's going to be better off for them, for their family, for their business.